Are you struggling to pass the CPA exam? Did your review course fail to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, the number one course supplement, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, what is the Private Company Council? And what do you have to know about it for the CPA FAR exam? Well, full gap can be difficult, could be expensive to implement, especially for small companies. Must all companies use full gap when preparing financial statements? No, we already said that there were alternatives like special purpose frameworks, non-gap frameworks like cash basis, income tax basis, regulatory basis. But what about alternatives for smaller entities to make accounting easier and less expensive? They want to use gap, but they can't implement full gap. For them, there's the Private Company Council. Established in 2012, the Private Company Council, they help in setting accounting standards for private companies who want to use GAP. So we'll call them the PCC. They work with FASB to identify opportunities for alternative accounting for private companies with the goal being to lessen the cost of accounting to private entities. It's expensive for smaller companies to adopt all of GAP. So the PCC attempts to come up with some alternative accounting methods and principles for these private companies. The PCC advises the FASB regarding new GAP and how it might impact private companies. The PCC, what they'll do is they'll submit a proposal to the FASB for approval. And if approved, the alternative is considered GAP but only available to private companies. Sometimes you hear the term baby gap or little gap for these private alternatives. But the main thing is what results is gap compliant financial statements. The auditor can go ahead and issue an unmodified opinion even though the company is using these alternatives. So these alternatives are considered gap, but who can use them? Not a publicly traded entity, only private companies. How does the Private Company Council define a private company? Well, it's a company that's not required by the SEC to furnish financial statements. It's a company that has not issued securities to the general public that are traded on a national exchange. It's a company that is not required to furnish financial statements on a regular basis and make them available to the general public as part of a law, regulation, or as part of a contract that they entered into. Because if your company is required to furnish financial statements on a regular basis and make them available to the general public as part of a contract that you entered into or as part of a law or regulation, then you're not a private company for the purposes of using baby gap. The standalone financial statements of a subsidiary are considered a private entity for purposes of their standalone financial statements, but they're considered a public entity, not private, when the parent company files with the SEC. What does that mean? It means the subsidiary can use baby gap when they prepare their own financial statements on a standalone basis. But when the parent prepares consolidated financial statements, they can't use baby gap for that. They have to use full gap. So if the subsidiary just needs to show its separate financial statements to its landlord or to its vendor, they can use baby gap for that. They can use the standards established by the private company council but not in the consolidated financial statements that get filed with the SEC. They got to use full gap for that. All right, which of the following is correct regarding the private company council? A, develop accounting standards that can be adopted by private and public companies, not public companies. B, develop auditing standards that can be used in audits of private companies. No, not auditing standards, accounting standards. C, develop accounting standards that can be adopted by private companies? Yes. D, develop accounting and auditing standards that can be adopted by private companies? No. C is correct. The PCC develops accounting standards only that can be adopted by private companies only. No auditing standards, no public companies. How about this one? Private company council accounting standards can be adopted by a company that A, has issued securities to the general public that are traded on a national exchange? No, they're a public company then. B, 
has issued securities that are not subject to contractual restrictions to prepare U.S. gap-based financial statements that need to be publicly available on a periodic basis. That is correct. Letter B looks good. Notice you can have securities issued as long as they're not traded on a national exchange because if they were traded on a national exchange, then you would have to prepare U.S. gap-based financial statements and have them be publicly available on a periodic basis. But if you've issued securities that are not subject to those restrictions, then you can adopt private company counsel accounting standards. And of course, if you've never issued securities, you can adopt private company counsel accounting standards. Regarding use of PCC accounting standards, a private entity is one that so how does the PCC define a private entity? A, does not have to file their financial statements with a regulatory agency, right? No restrictions. B, does not have to make their financial statements available to the general public on a periodic basis, both. Letter C is correct. If the entity does not have to file their financial statements with a regulatory agency and does not have to make their financial statements available to the general public on a periodic basis, then the entity is considered private and can adopt PCC accounting standards. When a subsidiary is a private company, but the parent company is a public company, PCC accounting standards can be adopted by the subsidiary. A, if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And if you need more help with the private company counsel or any part of the CPA FAR exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com. Get yourself on I-75 where the right teacher makes all the difference.